I just got to the post office. I got to drop off all the orders real quick because last night I got the shipment in for all the new t-shirts and the hoodies. I uh, post these on my Instagram. If you guys aren't following it, it's Never Satisfied 24 Valve, same as the channel. So I'm gonna go drop this off real quick and then I will see you guys in a minute. All right, all the orders are out. Now I'm gonna head back to the house and I got a couple things I wanna talk to you guys about and go over and then the install on the truck today, I'm gonna be doing the, the clock spring as you can hear because it keeps beeping and the airbag light comes on. So I did some research online and it says that the clock spring went back. So I gotta get home, I gotta disconnect the batteries Leave it disconnected for an hour, then I gotta pull out the two bolts from behind the steering wheel, take out the airbag, and replace the clock spring. But I'll go over all that with you guys when I get home and I get to that point. I went to AutoZone uh, sometime last week and picked it up. I was actually surprised they had it. It was about $65 with tax for a new clock spring. So if that's something you guys run into a problem with that, if your airbag light comes on like that while you're driving, it just randomly it'll just randomly come on and it'll beep about three times and it'll stay on for about five seconds and it'll go off. And then say I go and hit a turn again and hit a small bump, it'll sense that and it'll come on again and the light will start blinking. So I am going to replace the clock screen today because it is annoying the piss out of me. I have that beeping come on all the time, especially when you're on the phone or you're trying to talk to someone or I'm trying to talk to you like, like this right now. Luckily it's not happening as much as it did yesterday when I was at work driving around. It went off like every three minutes. All right guys, I'm back at the house and I already got both the batteries disconnected. I'm gonna wait about an hour or so. They say to wait about 30 to 45 minutes, but I'm gonna wait about an hour just to be safe. And then I'm gonna start taking apart the steering wheel and go. I'll go over everything that you guys need. It's been over an hour that it's been sitting here with the batteries disconnected. So now the first step is I'm gonna take, it's an eight millimeter bolt on the back right here on this side and on the other side right here. I'm gonna take those two screws out and pull this off slowly. And then I'll show you what to do next. So I just pulled the two bolts out of the back, which are right here. These little tiny ones, like I said, again, eight millimeters. Now I'm gonna slowly, carefully pull this off. I'm gonna disconnect this red wire first. Perfect. All right, so now that I got the wires disconnected, this can come out. This is the airbag. That, we're not messing with that. The part we want to get to is the clock spring, which is right here, which is these wires. We're going to pull this off and replace the clock spring. I have the new one in the garage. I'll show you that in a second. All right, so one thing I almost forgot to mention too is you're going to take, if you have cruise control, you're going to take that off both sides as well. You're going to need a T15. Take out both bolts on both sides. And then you're gonna to wanna to disconnect them using a flathead on both of these. And then it's a 13 16 so I just used an impact to break that free. And then I'm gonna take this rubber hammer here, hit around the steering wheel and pop this off. And then I will get to replacing the clock spring. All right, so I got the steering wheel off. Next, you gotta take, there's two, there's a bolt down here, which is the T15 as well. And then there's two more up the sides here. So you need a longer, longer one to get that these bolts out there we go got that off pop this off i'm gonna clean all this really good too i have things taken apart just make, make it a little easier all right now that i got the bottom of the cover off you do have to take this cover off which i didn't want to but i'm gonna have to i just got my trailer brake bracket disconnected from here and the bottom two screws so you got to follow this wire down to right here where it connects. It's just the, the end of the yellow, end of the wire, so the yellow tab on it. You're just gonna disconnect that. Put two hands on it. All right, so now everything looks like a mess. We got everything disconnected. Here's the old clock spring right here. I just disconnected this one right here. There's a tab on the bottom of it. You just push it, and pull that, pull it off. The wire down here, like I showed you a minute ago. And then I took my screwdriver right between the clock spring and the steering wheel column here and just popped it off very gently and it came right off. So now I'm gonna take the brand new one right here and stick it on and do the same thing and the other way. 
and then once I get the clock spring on here, I'll go over the wiring again with you guys, and I'll get all this buttoned up. All right, so I got the new clock spring in, got the bottom cover on, got the, the cover down here on. Everything's good. This is the old switch that was in here when I bought the truck. I'm going to clip that out. That's why it's hanging down. So one thing to mention is there's grooves in here. There's actually a, a groove where you have to line the steering wheel up. See that little imperfection the screw right there? Inside the steering wheel. Let's see if you can see it here. See it right there at the very bottom? You gotta line that groove up with the groove on here. So I'm gonna do that real quick, and then I'll go over the wiring for the uh, clock spring here and how to plug it in and the colors and everything. And then we'll go for a test drive and see if everything works. All right, like I said, I wanna get everything cleaned up kinda why I had this all taken apart, so I did that. The steering wheel is pretty messed up, that's why I have it. A nice comfortable cover that goes over it. So for the wiring, your cruise control on and off is your left side, which means that the blue wire with the the full the fully blue wire is going to be your left side. The all black wire will be your right side. All right, guys. So my camera died when I was wrapping everything up, and I went to grab the charger, but the charger was missing, so I had to go out and buy a new charger. So I couldn't film the putting back together the airbag and the steering wheel and all that stuff, but I'll go over that in a minute. I am literally trying to beat light to a spot to wrap this video up. All right, guys, I just arrived at the spot. Unfortunately, the sun has set. I don't know how much light left, so I'm gonna try to wrap this up pretty quickly before I run out of light. So to go every, over everything again real quickly, today I ever changed, I changed out the clock spring and the steering wheel. The blue wire is gonna go to the left side where it says cruise control on, off, and set. Right now the steering wheel is upside down, so it's backwards. And the black wire will go to the right side where it says excel and coast. And then the yellow wire goes into the back of the airbag and the other black wire with a little tab on it gets plugged into the red wire, which is on the airbag. All right, guys, I'm running out of daylight here, so I'm gonna wrap this video up. That's how you change a clock spring on a 94 to 2002 Dodge Ram. You can pick the clock spring up at AutoZone for about six, seven dollars with tax included, depending on where you live. I drove about 12 miles here and it didn't beep and the airbag light didn't come on one time. So I'm really excited because like I said, every time I hit a bump or went around a corner, it went off and it drove me nuts. If you guys want to pick up any of the sweatshirts or the new t-shirts, it'll be the first link down below. If you guys aren't subscribing already, then please consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you could give this video a like, I would really appreciate it. Next week's video is going to be a really exciting one. There's a lot going on with the truck. I want to do it this week, but I didn't have enough time to plan and to schedule everything that needs to happen. So do not miss next week's video. It's going to be a very exciting one. With that being said, I hope you guys have a good day and enjoy today's upload.